In this video, you will learn how to measure single points and assign codes to the points using your icon field solution. This is the most basic use of an icon field rover, so you must become confident in doing this. We can use locked points for many purposes, for example, as built documentation for utility, curbs, surfaces, etc. In this basic video, we measure two elements. Foundations for light poles. Manhole covers for storm drainage. First, let us agree on the difference between measure and stake out. We measure what is built or exists. We stake out what is yet to come or be built. We start in the home menu of Icon Field. Confirm we are in the correct project, like a road, and that the job is day one. We select measure. Before we measure, there are three things we need to control. First and foremost, a good coordinate quality is important. We always keep an eye out for the position indicator in the status bar and the information bar. Position indicator must be green and there should be no warning about the coordinate quality and GDOP above the information bar. If this warning bar appears, please call your foreman. Second, we need to know which measure mode is active. Press on the status bar, select measure mode. There are four measure modes. Instant is used when speed is more important than accuracy. When you press the measure button, Icon field measures and locks one point. The remaining options are used to get higher accuracy measurements. They all lock and store one point based on the average of multiple automatic measurements. It is therefore important to hold the pole steady while measuring. They differ in how much they measure. Average time will measure for defined time here set to 5 seconds. Average manual works just like a stopwatch. Press once to start measuring and press again to stop. Average of measurements will measure a defined number of points, here set to 25. This time we use instant. Third and last, we must select the correct point codes for the objects we are about to measure. Codes are very important because they make it possible to filter the measured points, on site or in the office. Instead of seeing hundreds of points you don't need, you can focus on those points needed for your next task. Most companies have their own predefined code list for projects. If you don't have one, then contact your Leica support to get guidance for how to create a code list in Icon Field. Let's measure. Press code. We begin with light pole foundations, so we select light. Note that you don't need to display any model when measuring. It is just providing orientation on the job site and possibly offer a reality check of your measurements. Place the tip of the pole directly on the foundation you want to measure. For each measurement, Keep the pole vertical and steady, then press Measure. You can also use the hotkey button A to measure a point. That's it, you have locked the first point. Note, if you are using Icon GPS 70 Tilt, you can measure with the pole not being vertical. Go to the next foundation, place the tip of the pole, press Measure. Go to the next, Place the tip of the pole, press measure. Now it is time to measure manhole covers on the storm drain. Don't forget to change the code. Press on the code button. Select manholes. Place the tip of the pole directly in the center of the manhole you want to measure. Press measure. 
go to the next manhole. Place the tip of the pole directly in the center of the manhole you want to measure. Press measure. Good. We have now measured three foundations for light poles and two manhole covers. Because we attached codes to the locked points and used different symbols, it is now quick and easy to filter the locked points on site or in the office. Iconfield offers a lot of more advanced features, such as attaching more information to each locked point. You can attach photos and define up to 10 attributes for every code, such as diameter, material, and cover type. If you need help to use these advanced features, you can call your local Leica support. That's it. You have learned how to measure single points and assign codes to the points using your icon field solution. As the logical next step, you may want to watch a video about measuring polylines and arcs.